We got in late last night to my grandparents' cabin, well after dark. I'll show you the drive up in another video because it's too beautiful to miss. I woke up this morning with sweet kisses from my Wesley. Put on some socks to warm my feet and then headed downstairs to make some coffee and do some journaling. After that, I was up and ready to enjoy my day. are growing out here. Let's find out. I haven't been here in a couple years, so there's been some changes made, one of which is that we have this, I don't know what you call it. There's plants. Okay, honestly, I don't know how to open this. Yeah, hold on a second. Ah, okay. Mm, green onion. Got some cherry tomatoes. Yeah, there's a little flower here. Oh my goodness. Oh, it just came right off. Oh, Yes, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't think there's any others, it's just that one. Oh, there's a little bitty guy. Right there. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. So there's actually like a spout here that I need to undo. I think this is a new one. Okay. I don't have words. Mm -mm. Thank you. Those are my words. My words are thank you. Tastes better up in the mountains. It typically rains in the afternoons here, I would say. Well, you know, I don't know if I've been here much in August. In June, it rains a lot. I'm sorry, July. <laughs> Months are hard. Um, I'm usually here in July, and it often rains in the afternoons. It's crazy how good these blueberries are. I wish you could see it right now. The wind kind of traveled from one part of the forest. You could see it travel through the whole side of the canyon. A few weeks ago when it rained, right afterwards, my grandma was out here on the porch and she saw a mountain lion. Wesley, you stay over here. That's why I'm scared to let him go <laughs> too far. You stay over here with me. <laughs> Come here. He's so good. Good boy! I saw a mountain lion walk all the way down across the road. So I just want to keep him close. <laughs> Did you get something stuck in your beard? Oh, What is it? Come here, let me get that out of your beard. You said, good boy. There we go. Are you having fun up here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's so cool. 
want to go inside? <laughs> used to using a knife like this so my grandma now that she's retired kind of spends about half the year out here and I only come in the summers but this will probably be the longest I stay it'll, it'll be at least two weeks you know it's more so her place and when I come I just kind of have to figure out where everything is because it changes sometimes you know because she's here so much I'm sure she oh, shoot that's not <laughs> whatever so things change and I just have to figure it out but she's totally fine I'm just sharing why like I don't know where the right knife is <laughs> Wesley is at my feet as usual just waiting for me to drop something I've given you bra zucchini didn't go so well I think you ate it but I had terrible farts after that Did you guys just hear my stomach? I've been having some weird stomach issues all day. I don't know if it's the altitude. I need to look into that. Can altitude cause a lot of air in your system? It makes sense, because like when you bring up bags of stuff, you know, if you bring up a chip bag into the mountains to a higher altitude, it expands. <laughs> anyway, I wonder if our bodies do the same thing. So I'm someone who overthinks a lot. It can be both a good thing and a bad thing because it often just leads to like complete inaction so i'll have an idea and then you know i think it's a great idea and i'll want to pursue it and then my brain just goes into overdrive overthinking every little aspect of it making sure that you know that it's likely to work out or that it won't offend anyone or that it won't be sustainable like i take everything so seriously I don't know if any of you can relate to that, but I can't make any decision without having like an internal crisis. <laughs> it's not always like that. It's sometimes I just turn that part of my brain off and I'm able to just accomplish whatever it is. Or I'll just I'll have the idea, I'll do it, I'll put it out there and then I'll get negative feedback or I won't like the outcome or I'll realize it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And then I regret that I did it. And I try not to because you learn something from every mistake you make. Regardless, it's like I have these two ways of taking action. One is immediate with almost no thought. The other is so much thought and consideration that I may not ever end up doing it, may never end up taking the action to begin with. It's not great for a creative. So this has just been on my mind, especially since I've arrived here at the cabin, because I want to use this time in the mountains in just almost pure nature this space this mental space this physical space to execute a lot of the ideas and creative instincts that arise i had an idea today and decided that mm, i can see where there would be some contradiction with that or some conflict or people might see it in the wrong way and it's hard to walk the line of i don't care what people think but I think a lot of the time when I really get down to it, it's that I don't want other people to have the wrong impression of me, to take this one particular thing I've done or said or whatever, and then think that that is the only way I think about things or that that defines me. I shouldn't care what people think, but you know, we're human. <laughs> I'm working on it, right? It's a never ending internal battle.